Well, you two, building me a canoe. It's eight foot yarn. Made out of one sheer plywood. I got foam insulation in there for extra flotation. And fiberglass in here, because they're the, right here on the other side of that, they're the seam. Fiberglass in there, this should not hold. It did. Just one sanded plywood here, just regular plywood. Only eight foot long. Which, yeah, you know. It's really eight. Or the bottom of it. It's like a coffin, actually. This here is the back of it. And this is the front. It's four inches wide in the front. It sits out back. And I know that foam it's inch and a half or 7.5 uh, pamper formula 150. But I've sat on a, a two foot by two foot chunk of that stuff in the water and it only goes under a two inches. But eventually there will be plywood down over top of this, just a piece of quarter inch maybe. So that won't be too bad. I'm gonna fiberglass all of this. Um round the edge it. Deed corners. I'll probably just wrap the whole thing in front of this in fiberglass. It's not hard to turn over with one hand, but it ain't too bad. But I gotta do drip it on here. And I'm gonna do the bottom with an R piece. I gotta do this. I should have filled this in first, but I, just, I gotta do all these. I gotta do a drip there. This one will get covered when I do this. I gotta do the back. I gotta clean this all up. But I say it would a float right now. It's just a matter of how long. And then I'm going to paint it all of grab green. I'm pulling a little piece of wood out of it. But I got one inch construction through holding this chair and a and in between them, a one inch yarn tapered, uh, 18 gauge, I think. Yeah, 18 gauge. Yeah, I've not stapled. And there's some odd brad nailed around and stuff. But I'm going to paint it off drab green. Might have to do a full camo paint job on this. You guys will know that if I do it. But yeah, to do you that to tow it. It's been raining off and on all day. Going from the back to the front. Should be, yeah, it's a eight foot. It's 96 and uh, 7 16th of an inch long. And it's at 21 outside to outside. But yeah, I'm, I gotta get all the fiberglass done here. And that will be a, the worst part of this. Painting it will be fine. I'll get spray gun out and paint this up. But, she, uh, I've been working on it about two hours today just doing fiberglass and woodwork. I probably will start on some more fiberglass on this side. But, uh, yeah. She, uh, so yeah, here I gotta do the, that same thing. Same, yeah. Put that through and more if I can. Yeah, here I got fiberglass. Just do a short hole. Well, 
to where but on your satin knot hole right there. Hey, yeah, find another paintbrush if you'd do this one. Oh, I got one in here. That will work. Trying to add a nice paintbrush be used for fiberglass, but that's why I got the foam brush I had didn't work very far. Anything. So it's gonna be it for today. There'll be some pictures in you for this guy of me building it. I got two or three of them now. But yeah. Here I'm just gonna go from right here to here. Basically what I just did on this guy. It's flat. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna turn the radio back on. And probably won't work on any of this today. We're gonna get this side done for sure today. So, have a good day, guys.